Hey everybody, this is going to be an update video on those white label hard drives I got off of eBay. You know those two 160 gig Western Digital relabeled hard drives that I got for relatively cheap. I think $45 after shipping for both of them. Anyways, um, no they're not in the mid-tower deluxe, but I put one in this e-machines here and put the other in another e-machines. These are not original e-machines computers. These are actually rebuilt systems in e-machine cases. I use these cases about all the time to rebuild and refurbish computers with. But basically, <clears throat> I got those drives so I could use them in refurbish computers. And you're probably wondering, um, you know, there's many things you're probably wondering about these drives. And, you know, I'm kind of wondering them myself, you know, things like, what are the power on hours of this drive? What are the, you know... I'd like to see some detailed information about these drives. That's something you're probably wondering. You probably want to see this kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this system and install some software that actually goes in and looks at the hard disk drive and tells you all sorts of data. For example, I'm going to show you the software right quick on the Mid Tower Deluxe. It is currently looking at the Seagate ST2000D M001 hard drive. It's the 2 terabyte backup drive in the system. And currently this system has that drive, a Western Digital Caviar Green, one terabyte drive for TV DVR storage, two Seagate ST1000D M003 one terabyte drives for in a RAID strike configuration, that's data storage. So that's four hard drives, and I have a Seagate 240 gig Enterprise Solid State Drive that I um I recently acquired. So yeah. Lots of drives in this system. <clears throat> now let's go and have a look here at this information. It tells you your health status, your temperature, you know, all sorts of stuff like read error rate, spin up time, start stop count, reallocated sectors count, seek error rate, power on hours, which I don't know what this 85 here, that's definitely not right. But if you look up here, um, it tells you your rot rotational rate, which is 7200 RPMs. You know, tells you all sorts of data like your serial number, your firmware, transfer mode, which is SATA 600, drive letter, features, power on hours, which on this drive is 13,864. <laughs> That's a lot. This drive is um, drive is drive has been in the system for one and a half years. This no this coming November will be two years. Now let's go ahead and get to this system. Now that you've got an idea of what the software looks like. As you can hear, the hard drive is very quiet. Yes, this system has Windows Vista Home Premium. I pretty much have to install what I have keys for. Wish I could put Windows 7 on every system, but let's watch it boot Windows Vista. Now this system has an AMD Simpron 34, um, yeah, 3400 plus socket AM2. You know, to be honest, I don't really care much for Simprons, but you know, I have I have a crap load of them laying around. I need to do something with them. But if I do come across a nice AM2 CPU, this motherboard seems to like, I'll use it. Now, I did take a screenshot of the Quick Bench software test on this drive, which does sequential read and write and random access read and write. And of course, considering it's one of this, you can expect it to take a while to load. <laughs> That's the biggest downfall to one of Vista. Here's your hard drive LED. Yes, we get logged in here. We'll go ahead and go get the software. It's in my utilities folder. <laughs> you know, I got a good name for AMD Simpron processors. Just take Sim out and put 
in a four letter word that starts with S. It's a word that I don't, I don't use in my vocabulary. <laughs> because man, I tell you, these AMD Simprons, they're just, they're just not all that great. I think AMD could have done better with a budget processor back in those days. I mean, come on, only 256k um, of L2 cache? I mean, Sauron D's at that era had 512k. Now, this system here has been off for, I want to say, three or four days. Refresh. There we go. Maybe something was kind of strange. Now, I mean, this is more like it. Let's go to utilities. Should have it somewhere in the utilities. It's called Crystal Disk Info. I mean, there's there's quite a few applications you can get off the internet that do this kind of task here. Got to run to the installer, and of course, ABG likes to false flag, which I done that you know <laughs> when it added to the exceptions really quick. I don't know why AVG is um, flagging this. Now let this let this load. Now look at this. The hard drive description on eBay was new. Look at the power on hours. This disk only has six hours of you know it's only been powered on for six hours. See, health status is good. Temperature is at 27 degrees Celsius. Heck, this is the first program I've been able to read this um, temperature in with this drive in. Let's see, spin up time. Let's see, 100, worst 253, threshold 21. Now, I'm not sure if these, what values these are in, they don't say. Whether it's a millisecond or, or what. Reallocated sectors count 200. Power on hours. This says 100. And you know, I'm, I'm not very familiar with this software. Look at this 116, 99. That looks more like you know degrees Fahrenheit. It looks strange. I must I must say. Now it's just reading raw data off the drive. And sometimes maybe it cannot properly interpret the data. But this does seem to be simply a Western Digital Hard Drive rebadged and the firmware uh, reloaded with a different model number. Now I'm not sure what the MD stands for. I, I did see it on eBay. You know, they give you a pretty generic model number. It's this MD160GB SATA. It's very, very generic model. Here's your firmware. SATA 300 drive, which was exactly what it said in the description. Power on count, four counts. Yes, I haven't powered it on all that many times. I've been powered on for six hours. So, <laughs> it must say, it's, it's, I'd say it's pretty well honest here. You know, this drive, I mean, it seems to perform pretty well. And what I'll do is, yeah, I've already ran a, um, as I mentioned, I've done ran the quick bench on this, and I'll post those results here because AVG is too busy doing updates right now, so it's using the system. <laughs> so at least with these drives, it does answer some questions that you may have wondered about, you know, these particular white label drives you can find on eBay. You know, to be honest, from what I'm seeing here, I'd say, if you want one, go for it. The only downside I see here is you don't have, you know, your full warranty that you would have of Western Digital. But other than that, everything here seems pretty good to go. And the reason, you know, me, me people may be concerned about this is because some people online were saying that white label drives are simply drives that are, re that are repaired by a third party and you know all, all that stuff 
And you know, maybe there could be a slight possibility that they took a used drive and, you know, flash the firmware and possibly reset all these different values. But, you know, from the looks of the drive itself, it looked like it was brand new. I mean, and trust me, I, look, I, looked, I looked it over very carefully. And it seems, everything seems pretty legit here. So it's definitely some good news regarding these white label drives. So hopefully this video would help answer some questions regarding these white label drives. And now you actually know how to use some software to check out your hard drives and you know, look at this data yourself. So anyways, had any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.